All right, today we're going to go into the polar coordinates filter, which is a fun filter to give you something similar to what I've got showing you on the screen right now. We'll do this one later. I'll start off with one that's a little bit easier. It's a nice landscape, and I recommend landscapes, especially when you're starting with this filter. They seem to work a little bit better. Notice on the edges that they're relatively similar. This is going to be relevant for later on. I haven't done any adjustments to this picture. Normally what I would do obviously is clean up this, I think that's a bird, a couple little lens specs, uh, tweak the contrast adjustment, and especially with the polar coordinates filter, I do think it looks a little bit nicer if you, uh, you know, maybe up the saturation a little bit. But I'm not going to get into that right now because it's about the filter and not the way to process the image before the filter. First thing you want to do is duplicate your layer. Right click on the image, on the layer, duplicate, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control J. Now that I've duplicated my layer, what I want to do is turn this into a square. I don't want to use the crop tool. You want to use the image adjustment tool. So go to image and image size. If your width and height are connected, you'll need to unconnect them. And then you want to change your width to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to go 3,000 for mine and 3,000 for the height. I'm going to leave the resolution the same where it's at and hit OK. My image is now going to be a nice square. Notice what it also did is it stretched it out a little bit. That contributes to the effect. Next thing you want to do is rotate it. So go to Image, Image Rotation, and flip canvas vertically. That's going to flip your image upside down. Simple enough, you can see it on the screen. If it's upside down, you know it worked. From there, we're going to go to our polar coordinates filter. So go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates to get to that filter. Once it pulls up, you're going to want to make sure that the rectangular to polar is checked. It is normally checked by default, but just in case it's not, that's the one you want. You don't want the polar to rectangle. Hit OK. It'll work its magic, and you've more or less used the filter, but this isn't that super exciting, so we want to play with it a little bit. What I do is uncheck the background, and you notice why it's uh, kind of filtering through a little bit, and the reason being is, of course, that it's stretching it out on the edges, and we'll play with that a little bit too. But first, uncheck your background layer so that way it's not impacting the image, and then on your layer that you're working with, hit uh, Control T, and from here, swing it around to however you want it to go. In this case, I want that lighthouse to be top center. And what you notice what it's doing, in order to put the lighthouse top center, I'm losing a bit of my edges. You can work this a couple ways. You can stretch it out. You can paint in the corners. With this one, I'm going to just stretch it out a little bit. Hit Enter to, in order to save that. And now what I want to do is kind of start my cleaning up process a little bit. For this one, I'm going to actually paint the corners in a little bit to match. And I'm just doing a quick job of this uh, because I hate when people do really long tutorials and they like spend hours doing things like this that you don't really need to see. You just need to see the important stuff. Okay, now I've got that painted in and I'm going to fix this line here and that's why you needed something where the edges were relatively similar these lines to kind of match up as closely as possible you can use the um, spot healing brush uh, that'll probably only mostly work here on the centerpiece for this one and you can also use the clone stamp tool and I'd say just kind of click right next to it and bring it over and it's fine that it's not perfect. What you're really just trying to do is get rid of that line. You can even drop your opacity a little bit if you want. So that way it just doesn't stand out as much. You can play with it some more, do your cleanup, do some adjustments, so forth and so on. Another thing that a lot of people do is they might take another image and then put it right in the middle here. Uh, you can do that as well. It works on a vertical image or something similar to what I did that created this one. So this is the second one I'm going to show you. So you notice what it is, is it's a panoramic. It's stitched together three different images. You have to do the same thing. 
duplicate your layer. Control J on your keyboard. Go to image, image size, and you want it to match. So I'm gonna go, uh, let's go 2000 by 2000 on this one. Since it's a little lower resolution than the previous one, hit OK. Once again, you notice what it did. It stretched it all out. That's fine. Image. Image rotation. Flip canvas vertically. Filter. Distort. Polar coordinates. It's going to distort it quite a bit. And we're getting there. Notice I worked out all that other stuff. To get it in the framing that I have it. It's, it looks like it's probably similar to that from the previous one I did. Yep. So let's pull that back around. Enlarge this a bit. And this is where the little bit more uh, this is cleanup type stuff is going on. Whoops. Still blue. So I'm just using the brush tool. And um, with the brush tool, a little tip, hold the Alt key, and that's how you sample the color. If you don't already know that, now you do. Start working your image in order to get it where you want it. And it does take a little bit of time. Combination of clone stamping, combination of spot heel, paint, etc., etc. And you'll eventually end up with something like that. So you can kind of see around the edge here where this kind of drops off. That's where the line initially was. And I've uh, cleaned it up, you can see. So if you look for it, you'll see that it's there. And that's basically the gist of the polar coordinates filter. I'm not going to go on and on, but you get the, get the idea. You can do it with items like this, which have a lot going on in them. They take a little bit more work. Um, or you can do it with the nice simple ones like my nice little seascape here. All right.